Hey, Chemistry Honors, this is Mr. Eden, and this is Organic Chemistry, and I am back with some cyclic hydrocarbon. Cyclic, what does cyclic mean? It means a circle. And what does hydrocarbon mean? It means it's got carbons and hydrogens. So let's get to our cyclic hydrocarbons. There are some very, very normal, what we call cyclic hydrocarbons. One is called cyclopropane. Can you guess how many carbons propane will be? Three carbons, and it will be in a cycle or in a kind of a triangle type form and of course each carbon needs hydrogens coming off of it and so you can see this cyclic propane is a propane but it's in a circular form and so sometimes molecules can bond in this way and so what's the chemical formula for this is C3H6 all single bonds but because they're bonded with each other it is going to be uh, the hydrogen is going to be double the amount of carbons. So let's go to the cyclobutane. Butane is four carbons. It's going to be in a cyclical form. And so each carbon is going to have two hydrogens coming off. And so what's the chemical formula for this one going to be? Is going to be C4H8. C4H8. And then we also have cyclopentane. Cyclopentane is going to look like this. You can see it's in a pentagon type form or a home plate. And each carbon is going to have our hydrogens coming off of it. So what is going to be the chemical formula for this is C5H, can you guess it? C5H10, C5H10. So sometimes we see cyclopropane, cyclobutane, cyclopentane. The most famous one that we see a lot of times is our cyclohexane, cyclohexane. Uh, you've probably seen Mr. Aiden use cyclohexane in uh, in chemistry class. In that we have, and I'm just going to CH2 if that's okay. C CH2, 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 and CH2, and so we have C6H12. Okay. Uh, Mr. Eden has used cyclohexane. It is very, very, very flammable. It is, if you remember when I did the polarity experiment showing the water and the um, and the drops of the food coloring and how it did not uh, interact, it did not dissolve in the cyclohexane because the cyclohexane is nonpolar. It's all London dispersion forces, LDF and they wouldn't dissolve in one another because the water had hydrogen bonding and the cyclohexane had London dispersion forces. Now, there are four really, really, really famous uh, cyclic hydrocarbons. The first one is the most famous of all. This is the one that you want to know. It is called benzene. It is C6H6. Benzene is the most famous of all the hydrocarbons. It looks like this. You've probably seen it before. You've probably seen Mr. Eden draw before. It looks like this. It's got double bonds. It is C6H6. If I truly drew it out, it would be a double bond here, single bond here, double bond here, single bond here, double bond here, single bond here, and there would just be H's coming off of each one of these carbons right here and C6H6. Sometimes you'll see it like this drawn this with a circle in it. Why do they draw a little circle in it is this double bond can move back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. There's what we call resonance structures, resonance structures. So you can see how that double bond, those electrons are not static, they're moving and so they can go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth because we have resonance structures. Uh, sometimes we just draw it like this. Mr. Aiden drew this over and over and over and over and over again in college. Uh, benzene is the, uh, why is benzene the most famous of all of them? This water is the best solvent for polar things. Why? Because it has hydrogen bonding interactions. Um, it can dissolve all polar things, but benzene is the most famous nonpolar solvent. Okay, because he's got all London dispersion forces and he can dissolve everything. Uh, the problem with benzene is it's a carcinogen. Okay, it will give you cancer. Uh, Mr. Aiden used benzene all the time in college with gloves on, don't worry. 
and you can see benzene is the most famous of all of them. Another famous one is naphthalene. Naphthalene looks like this. I'm just going to do the structures with, I'm not going to draw out all the hydrogens. I'm just going to draw out the carbons. Naphthalene looks like this. It looks like two benzenes kind of put together. Um, why is naphthalene famous? It is in what we call mothballs. I used to do an experiment with naphthalene, and, uh, and one time the naphthalene, uh, we had a problem happen, and I the entire uh, building that I was in smelled like mothballs or your grandmother's closet. And the other teachers complained about me, so I found a different uh, substance to do my experiments with other than naphthalene. Uh, there's a thing called pyridine. Uh, pyridine is used in a lot of pesticides, a, a lot of solvents. Uh, guys, we use these, all of these dudes for solvents. Why? Because they dissolve a lot of nonpolar things, sometimes with this nitrogen on the end here of pyridine. Uh, so it's got a nitrogen atom right here. It's got kind of the one so it looks like benzene but with a nitrogen atom instead of this carbon atom right here and so uh, why is this a great solvent it can dissolve a lot of nonpolar things it can dissolve a lot of polar things because of the nitrogen on the end here but these are our organic solvents uh, toluene toluene looks like this he's got his uh, it just looks like benzene with a methyl group coming off of the end. Why is toluene very, very famous? Uh, we use toluene as an octane booster in gasoline. Uh, it's used as a paint thinner, obviously a great solvent. These are really, really famous cyclic hydrocarbons, great solvents. The one you really need to know is benzene. So that is our cyclic hydrocarbons, and that's all I got for you today. See you guys.